it's just a, a real um, significant moment in the history of Chicano studies and we should um, in our corazones and our almas uh, think about all the people that came before us that made it possible for this evening to happen and uh, things like this don't happen just by accident it's been a long struggle uh, but I think that within that struggle, it has also created community and family and friendships and bonds that will be enduring, and that is the beauty of the struggle. Um, I am a research scholar in Chicano studies. I teach a class this semester called New Mexico's Literary Landscapes. Uh, in the spring, I'll be teaching a class called New Mexico's uh, Villages and Cultural Traditions, which is also like a cultural landscapes class. And um, I'm also teaching an eight-week class this semester called Writers in the Community. It's a, somewhat of a community uh, service learning based type of class. And it looks like we'll be offering it again in the summer and probably uh, next fall as well. So that is the work that I'm doing here along with other kind of little things that, uh, uh, that we're working on all the time. But really the message I think that came through earlier from all the various speakers is that Chicano Studies has always been by, for, and, and, and for the students, and that is also uh, what I see today now with uh, Olivia from Taos and my compadre here from Peñasco and my own students in my classes is that it is a program that empowers the students, I think, in ways that other uh, programs and departments across the university don't do. And so that is uh, a real testament to the endurance of Chicano studies. And thank you all so much uh, for your previous work and uh, your enduring commitment to making sure that these young students here will be the ones that uh, carry the torch forward uh, in the years to come. Thank you.